18th century England. Daniel Defoe, author of Robinson Crusoe, is on tour and is about to take a well-earned rest near the town of Stilton. He'll also sample the local speciality. You may be familiar with Stilton cheese, though these days it's lost something in the presentation. As Daniel Defoe later recorded, it was brought to table with the mites, or maggots round it, so thick that they bring a spoon with them for you to eat the mites with as you do the cheese. A bon appetit, Daniel. Cow cheese. So creamy. Sheep cheese. So scrumptious. No. No, I said. It is, of course, living cultures of bacteria and fungi that partially explain the fabulous range of cheeses we now enjoy. Sadly for cheese mites, they are now largely regarded as a pest. A large-scale infestation of your cheese cellar can lead to serious cheese loss. Cheese mite, conga line. <laughs> Rubbish. These days, truckles are often wrapped in cloth. Waxed or oiled. Hygiene is key. They can also be regularly vacuumed to suck the creepy blighters straight off the rind. Unlike the British, French cheese fans remain a little more daring. Some of their artisan cheeses don't only embrace the traditional tangy blue moulds. Cheese board! This Beaufort cheese is only one of several that utilise a different natural product. It gives it a subtle, earthy nuance. Guess what it is? No. You've got it. It's our arachnid friend. Real cheese aficionados enjoy the open texture and nutty tones they, their shed skins and faecal matter create. It's enough to give anyone cheese nightmares. Even you.